Our first stop will be at Balabanine Wines to pick up Dan Bernay. Dan will be taking us past some of his favourite spots in the valley. I love this little winery because it's very French and rustic in its appearance. And there's some great walking tracks up there and great spots to have a look at the valley from. There's some nice lookouts and stuff. Well, when we get to the lookout, you can hop out of the car and have a look across the whole valley. This is great. How would you know to come up here? Yeah, you can see across the whole valley floor, see Mount Pleasant, Pools Rock Winery, and a great view of the topography and where the vineyards are actually sitting. I can tell you now, if I didn't have him talking to me, I wouldn't be here. In just a moment, on the left, you'll see a little dirt road with a colourful history. The locals call it Lover's Lane. If you want to hear why they call it Lover's Lane, turn left into it and Jim will tell you. Otherwise, just keep going straight. Oh, is it Lover's Lane, lover? Uh, lover. Just pull up at the vineyard here anyway. Stephen swears there's not a weekend that goes by that there's not a couple down in the Lover's Block. If you see another car parked, you might want to give them some space. <laughs> Should we go? Well, we better just check out. Should we go over that way? Should we go that way? Such a beautiful day. Quiet. Let's keep going now. It's got smoke. The wreckage you learn when there's nowhere to turn. Well, sometimes you just wait for the blue sky to return. 